So we got the bait we needed, but man, I didn't like the lady that was working in there today. Normally there's these couple of guys who take turns. Maybe you can see me doing this from right here or something. Normally there's a couple of guys who take turns working the seafood counter in there. And they're super nice and super helpful. This was not them. This was some old lady who I've never seen before who didn't seem necessarily happy to be here, did not want to talk to me very much, that's for sure. <laughs> but we got our bait. We're gonna get going. Get on out there. Today we are fishing, oh goodness, we are fishing the south end of Tybee Island. I won't get specific on where, but I mean, you can probably figure it out. You folks are smart, right? Right? So, stay tuned. Here we go. Uh, I got some, some burgers at the house, but I would much rather catch some fish catch and cook some fish. I haven't been able to do that in a little while. So that is the actual factual goal tonight. I'm probably going the long way here, but hey, we'll get there. sorts maybe possibly an arrest or maybe a DUI arrest and tow sort of thing man it is looking really crowded down here
I'm not sure why that decided to. All right, so just a quick rundown of what I've got with me. I've got uh, three rods, two tens and an eighth. I've got some water for washing stuff down. I think I'm actually going to carry a chair out here with me. I've got a little little bag cooler and a backpack with my tackle and my rug holders and my mallet. So we're keeping it simple today for a quick end. Not worrying about the cart. Uh, if we catch reds or anything, we're probably gonna let them go and just keep whiting. Give you a good look at the spread. Three rod spread on foot, no cart, keeping it simple today. Four ounce weight, two shrimp, bigger hooks, bigger pieces going out kind of far. I'm not going to chunk it because I don't want to throw off shrimp today. This one is no fish bites for the moment. See any shrimp come off? Sweet. This fellow here, kind of a whiting rig with some more floats and beads and stuff. Going kind of close ish. Right over the top. And then this fellow, an even like more modest whiting rig with some really small pieces of shrimp and fish bites. I'm going to try and chuck this one to the other island. Hopefully I didn't go over that one. Might have, but we'll see. Should be okay. Unless something crazy takes it, we'll deal with that when that happens. That's a bite. Is there anything still here? No, all my bait's gone, but that's a good sign still. Oh, shit. I would say that was a hit, right? He's still there. Whatever the heck this is. Hell, there's a school of something going crazy out here. I don't know what I'm hooked into. But it feels like a pretty good fish. It almost took my, uh... Oh no, did it come off? Shit. 
No. No, it's still there. No, it came off. What in the hell was that? Whoa, dude. I think whatever just bit my line again broke off immediately. Let's fish on. Finally. I think it's still on there. Yeah. I don't know if I feel a fish anymore. Yeah, there's a fish. What are you? Get up here. A whiting. Oh my God. Finally. Boy. You came just in time. If I can get one more before I go, that'd be awesome. <laughs> He's mad. Oh, goodness. Hope I wouldn't point at the sky. That's a little fighter. Yes. Yes, buddy. Welcome aboard. These are like the perfect size for eaters. Sweet. Let's get back in them. Where did that shrimp go? I was peeling. Is that it over there? Yes, that's it. Sorry. This might be a better fish. Yeah, this is pulling back a little bit. That little ray, little baby ray. You're gonna sit right here for a minute while I get my other lines in. 
So we definitely worked really hard for these fish today. Um, you know, I was out here for like two or three hours, almost three hours, and uh, didn't hardly get any bites till the end except for those two huge bites. One that totally broke the line and one that straightened the hook. So those could have been big redfish, big stingrays, who knows. Um, I, I know I was really trying to target whiting, which is why I didn't upgrade my tackle when that was happening. I still stuck with what I was using because I wanted to get whiting in the cooler, and I did manage to do that. So mission accomplished there. Uh, maybe next time we come back out, we'll, we'll put a bigger rig out and see if we can get some bigger fish. But that wasn't really the goal today. The goal was to get some groceries. So. Um, I'm just letting the last couple pieces of bait that are still on my hooks fish out for a minute and then I'm gonna gonna take off. If I catch anything you'll still see it, but otherwise uh, um, that's probably gonna do it for this trip. So thanks for watching Fishing Control and we'll see you on the next trip.